what's going on everybody welcome back to the radio trigger podcast as always uh i'm one of your hosts tensor chena and with me i have my co-host 20 odd lion and the anime bro yeah yeah, yeah. So, and today we're just gonna be talking about random stuff uh well i say random stuff but there are some pretty big topics that we want to touch on for example like the whole twitch thing that's been going on recently so i guess like <laughs> we already talked about that a little bit before the episode so yeah. Will it be in here? I don't know. Actually, I do know. Because yeah. I'm going to want editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, I don't know. To, to me, it's it's crazy. What, do you, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Dude, it's the internet. I, I don't want to go to Twitch. <laughs> There's like a billion other websites <laughs> for this. Yeah, no. Nah, like like I said, people. man. <laughs> real people. <laughs> Bro, even if it was with real people. Again, just like billion other websites. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But like, <laughs> there's something about it. Like, it's just like, you know, it's like a natural setting and, you know, it's just, this is different. But nah. again, it's in cartoons. Again. I don't know, man. Again, man. Nah, billion they, other websites. No, literally, no it doesn't website. matter if we're talking, it doesn't matter if we're talking about like real stuff or hentai. It's just like, I go to Twitch to watch games and reactions and games, like, reactions. So maybe even podcasts, but literally not. podcasts too. But man, if I want to like, see all that stuff, I go, I go somewhere else. <laughs> literally spank me. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not going on. I'm not, I'm not going on. What, what you call it? The like Twitch to, like see some moves. Like no, mm. like I just, I just want to go on there and watch some people play games. Like, yeah, I feel like that's already a problem with a lot of other platforms where I go on Twitter. To, I don't know, look at people talk about anime and stuff. And right. like, I think Twitter is the one that's worse with that because it just doesn't have a filter. <laughs> but it's really with anything, pretty much. Like, it's just so much NSFW stuff in anywhere you go. Yeah. But yeah. I, don't I know. guess that's it for that topic. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's, wow. Actually, crazy. I guess let, let us know what you guys think in the yeah, comments. Let us know what you mm-hmm. guys think. Lion says, Yeah, let's do it. Me and Tens are like, You know, <laughs> there's Literally. a time and a place. <laughs> Literally, like, Lion, imagine if you had mm-hmm. a kid and they just yeah. go on Twitch, like, you, you'd be cool. Anyways. Lion having a kid, that would probably <laughs> happen. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we, but, well, maybe. Maybe. But now we're not. Maybe. Yeah, nah, not. So. I mean, I mean, if if well, why not though? Like, cause it's just like it's meant for games, but the problem is that they're making it worse. That's the only thing. Exactly. And which is why, which is why we see it as a problem. But but you don't because you're, you're an adult and you like that stuff. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, real it's, ones, yeah, not fucking cartoon ones. Yeah, but like real or cartoon, it's just like. It, this has been established as like a gaming platform you know or like a yeah. platform where people can stream like f- safe content yeah. not like like if yeah <laughs> well just just to point out for viewers we don't think like if you do this for a living you're disgusting we're just thinking you know oh, no, don't is. do it on twitch <laughs> just don't exactly. do it on twitch <laughs> this time and place <laughs> yeah man because yeah, like shooting your boobs to make money yeah come on come on yeah Cause like I don't know to an extent, I understand artistic nudity, but it's like there's a difference between drawing, like I don't know, like like artistic nudity for me is just not like, <laughs> not like straight up you spreading your legs open <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. Like there's a difference between like you know like those old paintings and stuff like that. Yeah. Like yeah. even if even if they were to do some like I don't know like anime art and they're just naked, right? As long as it's not sexual, like that's 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 all that matters mm. to me but it's the fact that people are literally <laughs> drawing hentai yeah. like just on twitch it's, it's insane 2000 people are just watching it yeah literally. 2000 boys i don't <laughs> or girls i don't know could be some yeah, yeah but <laughs> who knows way, yeah. yeah that's that's my thing like but even then i feel like everything in moderation it's it's just like i don't know yeah. But yeah that's that's what's going on with twitch um i feel like there was something else another topic that i had in mind but i can't no really idea. think of it no idea um oh yeah well i was on twitter this morning mm-hmm. and i saw somebody say that jujutsu kaisen have you been watching jujutsu kaisen anime bro no okay i won't spoil. 
Oh, I'm waiting until it's it finished. I'm I'm binging anime now. I know it's weird, but that's what yeah. I do. Uh, that's that's valid. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of more. It's kind of better to watch it like as it airs, just because. Like yeah, you you like when you binge it, you can just watch it all, and there's really no cliffhangers. But I don't know. I feel like when you um, watch it like episode after episode, it kind of has that like it, it leaves you excited for the next next episode basically, and it's like it's nice to talk to about, talk to people about like the recent episode and what happened. But I, I kind of understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But um, I, I did see this tweet, and it was like uh, Shibuya is better than Thousand Year Blood War, and. I know you haven't been watching anime, bro. But Lion, what what is your take on that? On、oh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, they yeah they said Shibuya is better than Thousand Year Blood War. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> yeah, no. Because without sp- yeah, because without spoiling, like the main thing that they said on the tweet is that like the fight in you you saw the recent episode, right? You're all caught up, Lion.、Nope. I just read the manga. Oh, you're you're at the okay. So you so you know like the it's like a. It's like a tag fight, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so they said that fight is better、mm. than like everything in Thousand Year Blood War,、no. and I was just like, Nah, man. <laughs> like, what are you talking? Like, there's literally fights on that same level, and it's just I, I don't. Literally, just jump on my tail against Yabak is better. Yeah, literally,、so. that is better. Literally,、uh, what what was it? Yabak. Yeah, yeah Kempachi versus Grammy. Yeah,、uh, yeah. yeah.、Uh, I I really liked that fight. That was a really nice like fight, and when he cut the meteor and everything like that. Yeah, that was that part that was good.、Fight. Um, who?、Oh. Yeah, and、uh, Rukia as well. Her fight was nice. Yeah, there wasn't really much fighting. Yeah, I don't know. T- just specifically like the Bankai reveal, I, I really liked. Yeah, it was nice. And then, well, no, the the beginning of her fight was pretty nice.、Uh, like when she was basically she was basically like destroying him, but. Yeah, but yeah, like, and then it's not、yeah. really like a fight. Fight. It's just literally a little bit fighting. She uses bunker and boom, she wins. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I think I know what you mean. Like it's not like a like choreo choreography. I, I I guess you could say right. Like not much of that. But yeah, it, those 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 were were still pretty good fights in my opinion. But um, I do want I do want your opinion on this anime, bro. Um, for a thousand year blood war. I know you don't <laughs> really like Bleach, but. Uh, still, I have to ask. Well, I, I like it. It's just you know, I don't think it's up there as my.、Hmm. I actually don't know where I would place it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no,、nah, I I can see that. But so basically, one of the things the guy said was that Bleach,、uh, the Thousand Year Blood War, didn't have that much emotional impact. Would you agree with that? I, I need a. Well, a my thing mostly is. It's been a while since I re- watched Bleach,、mm. so I could see that because if you're going from the original anime that stopped airing in like the early to 2010s to、uh, Thousand Year Blood War,、mm. you probably forgot stuff if you're not a big fan like Tenza. So eventually, when someone does die and stuff, it's not. You know, impactful because it's like, wait, what was this person's name again? Or like, you don't remember much of that person and、mm-hmm. stuff. And and I kind of do feel that way because you know, some、uh, people die. One person I remember dying, and I didn't feel the emotional impact. But again, I hadn't read the thing in years. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, so it's like, yeah, that makes sense. That. I wouldn't feel that emotional impact. I would probably would have to go back and stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I I can see that. Yeah, like if you just haven't watched it in a while, like yeah. But yeah, no, I just I just had to ask because like <laughs> the guy that made that tweet, I I don't know. I feel, it just felt like he was being being really biased. He did. He literally had a Jujutsu Kaisen profile picture. So yeah, I was like, I don't know what I'm expecting, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like.、Uh, I don't know. Bleach is actually pretty good in in comparison to like the Shibuya arc. The Shibuya arc is pretty good.、Um, not like I said, not spoiling anything, but I just I I don't think that、uh, what you call it to say that it's better than Thousand Year Blood War is like I don't know. I mean, to each their own. But for me, I just feel like for you to say that that one fight clears everything in Thousand Year Blood War. That's kind of that, that. That's a bias thing. You're just saying like one thing. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because. 
if you think about just that one thing, even if you were to include the whole entire Shibuya arc, it's only like 20 to 30 episodes. Mm. And like Thousand Year Blood War is like an entire like they're both arcs, yes, but Thousand Year Blood War is going to have like 50 whole episodes or something around that based on it. So it's just like just it not only has quality, but it also has quantity. So I just can't really understand their point. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, are there any crazy things that you guys have seen lately? Uh, I'm not really on the internet that much, unlike you. So. <laughs> Bro, I'm not on the internet either. I literally just right. I have it tweeted in like right. That's a minute. Tweet, like, but this man's like, oh, uh, I saw yeah. it on Twitter today. <laughs> it, it, yes, I saw it today. I didn't. <laughs> I, I don't remember like being on Twitter this entire week. Aside from that, pretty much. Uh, but man, usually, if there's like anything going on on the internet, you're the first one to say, "Hey, did you shoot this?" Oh my gosh. Well, YouTube is also another thing. Like, I found out about the whole Twitch thing from YouTube first. So, like. I don't know. Mm. Like, I like, what do you do in your free time? Do you not just not go on the internet? <laughs> no, <laughs> or you, really. you, because for me, the only reason I know about those stuff is not because mm. like I'm always on Twitter or stuff like that. It's like because I'm like, like I watch like um comment uh, commentary YouTubers. So mm. like they'll talk about like current things that are going on and stuff. So even if I don't go on Twitter, they'll talk about mm. things that are happening on Twitter and stuff like that. So it's like kind of kind of hard to avoid for me yeah. right Ooh, this is kind of old but pokemon's seven dollar cookies oh yeah what i, I did forget about that I that's the buy seven dollars yes it's like she called yeah. people was like oreos recipe or some other cookies recipe and i was just selling them for more more expensive yeah man honestly I, it'd be fine if she didn't treat everybody who didn't want to pay that much as broke yeah. because like it's it's one thing if you're like oh yeah i have these seven dollar cookies you know it's like not everybody wants to buy seven dollar cookies but it's yeah. another thing if you make them and then you're like anybody who doesn't buy these is broke and anybody who complains about how expensive it is is broke it's like no <laughs> like mm. what's the point in doing that but i mean i would do it but you know as a joke it's like who's actually dumb yeah. enough to buy these seven dollar cookies <laughs> <laughs> yeah no as it's like a joke 100 percent. but Damn. it's crazy because when i first found out about it it was like i said also on youtube and the guy that was talking about it he was like oh yeah i went to find the whole clip to see if she was actually joking but no <laughs> she just doubled down like as the clip went on and it's just yeah, like and okay i guess eventually she's like oh i, I it was a joke b -b -b. oh my gosh <laughs> she said that i didn't even yeah. see her say that wow that's actually crazy. And you have the obvious <laughs> basic apology, like, oh, I can see why people got a thing. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. <sighs> Let's oh see if gosh. we can actually find the official thing she's And I, it's funny because I saw something. It was like, she also, um, oh, let's see. Like, she, she basically said the same thing about somebody, like, a couple of years ago. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Where she was like, oh, yeah, don't, you know, shame your, um, like, shame your, uh, I guess, fans or audi <laughs> audience for not really having that much money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from like, I was dying. But yeah, it's like, it's like, how do you say that? And then do it yourself. Like, I, I don't get it. Yeah. Well, when people feel attacked, they, you know, they go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should. Yeah. It says, while what I said was 100% intended to be a joke, I see why it came off as insensitive and I apologize for that. Church is intended to be a joke. And you get obviously the other woman defending her. Oh my gosh. Calling the guys that are calling her out for it sexist and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's wild, man. Honestly. Yeah, what was the I can't you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll do better. We'll, we'll make cookies, but we'll charge them $6 for them. <laughs> a lot cheaper. If you don't buy it, you're poor. Sick. So, yeah, yeah. If you don't buy it, you're poor. I'm sorry. We 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 made it cheaper than Pokemon, okay? Exactly. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, like if you if you can't afford that, like, come on, man. You just you just gotta get your money up, man. <laughs> like, what are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. <laughs> get two jobs, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Who needs Literally, the weekend? <laughs> Literally, just sell drugs if you have to, man. Just just make, make some money. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's that's I'm joking. If you can, if you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. 
That that is the cookie part pretty, was real. The drugs don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. but yeah, that's pretty pretty wild of her. Uh, she's obviously only apologizing because like she had backlash yeah. or whatever. Because you know, big people happen, like that. So... <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing's never, gonna happen to her. People will still buy it. So yeah, exactly. Because they probably forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, because a big thing about like these big creators. And that's uh, something another one is going through right now um, that I'm going to mention. But like they since they have all these managers and stuff, when they say or do something stupid, it's like, OK, look, you have to apologize for this or you're going to get a lot of bad reputation and we can't really help you. And something so, like another content creator that's kind of going through that right now. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of Sniper Wolf, where yeah. she basically doxed. Uh, yeah, she like gave guy. the location yeah. to someone, didn't she? Yeah, and which then, honestly, that's like messed up right there. Yeah. That's way past. But she's drilled. Yeah, so it's fine. <laughs> and they and she was like, "Oh yeah, I was, I was just, I, was, I just wanted to talk to him and stuff like that." And it's like, bro, you don't just go to somebody's house at like in the middle of the night. Like it, it, that's just not how adults resolve things and stuff like that. No. And then basically, what happened is like, um, like I think youtube they they were really reluctant on punishing her just because you know like she's one of the big ones on youtube and they make a lot of money from her yeah. so but they they finally did eventually and i don't know if it's still ongoing but <laughs> like if it was anybody else they would have <laughs> exactly but it, in general i feel like if it was anybody else they would have immediately gotten like yeah. banned or just deleted off of the internet like or off of youtube mm -hmm. crazy yeah there's the one tweet from of this girl defamed in Pokemon. It says here, you guys have people like Neon, Jack, Sneeko, who average thousands of years and do nothing but spread negativity and harass people in public. But when a girl sells cookies, that's when y'all want to speak out. The men's hatred towards women on the internet is unhinged. Oh my God, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you just have people like that, man. Yeah, Americans, I but <laughs> Americans, honestly. I, I, that's not an inaccurate statement. I feel like America is like the most sensitive place on earth. <laughs> but yeah. that's just me. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. But uh, we already talked about the Game Awards yesterday, kind of. So. Or well, last week. Let's, let's not date this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last last week, if you want to say it like that. But... Yeah. Well, it depends which one goes uh, first. So let's not say anything. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we before we break the space time continuum or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um well what else has been going on? Uh I can't yeah. really... I guess we can talk about what we're working on. What's been going on with us? Uh, uh yeah. nothing. Just the same. Much of potency content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um for me, well I, I just hopefully I've been planning on getting back into it like uh soon. Um, because now I actually have some time, mm. but I, I'm probably not going to stay in it for long just because like I have to register for classes again and right. get back into college because I want to finish it fast. But yeah, I, I wanted to like just make a pause and make a video at some point, but I have to get another thing finished first. Um, you guys know what it is. I just can't say it <laughs> on the episode <laughs> and then and then get to my own stuff. But yeah, for now, it's just... Uh, just <laughs> nothing pretty much I'm just planning on what video I want to make next I have a whole list it's just me deciding what I want to upload next yeah um, yeah what about you Lion well I'm uploading my Invincible video tomorrow mm. oh Invincible I didn't even know you were making an Invincible video yeah it's come out well when you guys watch this episode it came out the 15th <laughs> the 15th oh tomorrow. yeah true yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah so <laughs> Go watch that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, watch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. only one upload. We need to. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Nicki Minaj was on Kais in that stream. Well. Wow. Hmm. That's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Kai, Kai always has big people on his streams. Yeah. But... I, don't, I don't even know what he does. So. Yeah. It's he. He just he does a lot. Pretty much. I don't. I don't watch him personally. Like. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Yeah, his just content loud. doesn't really seem for me. It's just yeah, exactly. I, I, he's very low. Like, like him. Like speed. Exactly. Like oh, I don't. Man. Okay, I, I saw a pretty funny video. The yeah, other day. yeah. I, I think that's the first talking to the girl. 
They get, yeah. Like the interference. I think that's yeah. the first. <laughs> it's so stupid. I think I think that's the first time I actually laughed at speed, bro. It's the way. It, it, did you see that video, anime, bro? No, don't think so. Basically, I need to send it to you. Yeah, send it. To you. I mean, it's just so. Bro, that yeah, no, nah, that was hilarious, man. Because like, I mean, it's funny. I, I don't know. It is weird as shit. Yeah, I'm gonna send you this. It, it is weird. It's yeah. very weird. It's it's just. It's just the way he was doing it, man. I, I was like, yeah. nah, bro, no way. Just making it go uncomfortable, you know, you know. <laughs> Literally. But uh, first I have to send this in admin. <laughs> I just saw a funny That's tweet. So crazy, but, man. Uh, speed. But yeah, nah. It, it just caught me off guard. It was so random. And I, yeah. I, I just started dying. <laughs> I show speed. It's the way he whispered it. I was just like, man... <laughs> I don't even watch the whole thing. So. Okay, here I found it. it uh, that killed me. <laughs> wait, wait, Speed did all this on stream? Yeah. I only saw the part where he was like, <laughs> turbulence. I didn't... <laughs> wait, he was in a bathtub with somebody? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, nah, this is actually crazy. But yeah, Speed, once again, content not for me. Did you see yeah. anime, bro? The thing? Mm, no. Uh... It didn't show up on Twitter. I'm going to use a different browser. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, Elon Musk, unfortunately, is um, ruining Twitter. <laughs> it noise? used to just be where you can be sent, like, a link. And then, like, What's that you noise? can click on it. And it would, uh, like, show you. But now you have to log in and stuff. It's, it's dumb. But... Yeah, no, right. <laughs> I just yeah. don't watch videos at all. V2. Nah, you're just saying that. You you just haven't found one that you like. What, I'm sure speed? it is. Wait, what? I'm saying like speeds, like streams and videos. Oh, I thought you said VTubers. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> speed, like, I can't. Yeah, no, I can't watch speed either. <laughs> nah, it's just, he's too, like, too loud. Yeah. Like, I just, I can't, man. Like, I don't know. For me, like, I just, I prefer more, like, I can watch loud people, but it's just, they can't overdo it. Like, yeah, like, like that, <laughs> yeah. Like that. That video I showed you the other day <laughs> of mm. the guy that that said his grandma got dragged out of the bed by a ghost. That was pretty funny to me. But oh, right. they, those guys aren't like loud or anything. Mm. Like they can be loud sometimes, but they don't overdo it. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Speed is just always loud, no matter what. And I don't. Know. Yeah, same for Kai. It's just not for me. But uh, can't I'm, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter right now, looking looking through the topics but it's still the same old same old like people are still talking about the whole twitch thing it is shocking so i can understand it but still um oh yeah i'm not clicking on that jujutsu kaisen <laughs> recent <laughs> chapter uh, um, oh spider-man 3 is in the works at insomniac yeah mm. you lost one what do you say it'll probably be, it'll probably be the last one they make yeah i can imagine because like there's i feel like there's only so much they can do <laughs> uh, i like how they got they announced it so fast after they didn't win any awards <laughs> at the game awards they're just like yeah we're working on it we'll, yeah, we'll we, win next something time, next time next time we'll, yeah <laughs> <laughs> did the first one next time we got win it. something what'd you say did the first one like win anything oh it didn't no i'm asking did it win anything like the first one i'm i'm not actually sure i'm pretty sure it did like i can't imagine it didn't win anything like it's a really good game it's like the first well, spider-man game we've had in a while yeah i guess it depends what uh, what other games came out that year yeah that was a while ago i really don't know uh spider-man let's see insomniacs insomniacs spider-man it came out 2018. Hmm. 2018 game award. Oh, you know, that does... Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is off topic, but the whole Twitch thing, mm -hmm. it it the it, it does kind of... It's it's not good, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> with the... It, I'm not going to lie, it might make being on a Twitter a little easier or scrolling mm -hmm. through Twitter when you're live. <laughs> because if you do come across something that's just not safe for work, you can be like, oh, oh, well... <laughs> it didn't do anything for the first one either. <laughs> Oh, it did! Wow, because it, bro, it was Red Dead Redemption Two, Red Dead Red Dead Redemption Two that year, and God of War. Oh wow! And those okay, two yeah, games no. just that... won everything. 
Oh god. Well, yeah. Now that that makes sense now. And I completely forgot those games came out that year. And I'm pretty sure those aren't the only two good games that came out. Didn't... No, Breath of the Wild was 2017. So yeah. a lot, a lot of the good ones came out in 2018. Uh, let me see. Actually, yeah, Monster Hunter World, Dragon Ball Fighters, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, good boys. I'm gonna have to do, get, have to do something real quick. Wait, I'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're good. Yeah. But yeah, 2018 had some good games. But... Oh, oh yeah, I think I remember that. Well, didn't they introduce? Uh, Smash Bros. Didn't come out until that, like a a few days later, right? Um, after, after the Game Awards. Let's see, I'm not sure actually. Smash Bros. Okay. Yeah, December 7th, 2018. That <laughs> I remember that because I didn't even watch the Game Awards, but. My uncle yeah. said uh, the, there was a big reveal that like everyone was like freaking out over, and it was that like in the new DLC, Joker was Joker for Sona Five was going to be available in Smash. Uh. <laughs> everyone was expecting like oh it would be on the Switch and stuff, but when they saw it was going to be on Smash, everyone was freaking out like holy crap, this is big. <laughs> yeah, and nah. I feel Smash always has like the biggest. Or, I don't know, like, it's one of the biggest, in, in terms of fighting games, like, the biggest announcements. It's just, like, yeah, so much hype when, when like, a character gets introduced, or even when a game is, like, like announced and stuff. It's, like, <laughs> I don't know, because the, ch- the chances of, like, your, your character or a character you want being in Smash are pretty pretty low, so, yeah. Man, well, they are, well, the thing about when uh, Joker from Persona 5 joined... Uh, I think it was like the biggest thing because everything like every character in Smash what, what ha- had their origins on a gaming console that's why most or a Nintendo console so mm-hmm. most of the stuff was always on Nintendo while when it came to Persona there was like it was never like a mainline Persona game was never on a console ever on a Nintendo console ever. Oh. So it was the first time where it's like, okay, now they can add other characters like Sora from Kingdom Hearts. They can go crazy and stuff like that. That that yeah. was mostly why the big it was a big announcement because then it's like we don't they they're, they're not just gonna put Nintendo characters. They're gonna put they're gonna have some like they're gonna expand a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Because I, I feel like I don't know, just a game like that. It I, I feel like it's even in terms of smash bros where like it's just a big like crossover between like a bunch of different series not just nintendo characters i also feel like i don't know it's it's very it's it's still kind of limited in terms of like the characters that cross over like until there's a game that like crosses over pretty much everything whether it's like nintendo or like like i don't know like anime and movies and games and so just everything like i don't i don't feel like it's gonna be like I don't know. There's gonna be a really big crossover like that, but I don't know. I, I would love to see that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like that would be insane. Just I don't know. Goku going up against um, what's his name from the boys? <laughs> or something like uh, that. Homelander. Go. Yeah, Homelander. Just just the craziest like matchups. Like I would love a game like that, but I, I can't imagine. That'd probably be so much more work because it's like so many more properties and it's not just like. Nintendo, because obviously with Smash Bros, like it's more Nintendo centered, so they can just like get a bunch of Nintendo games and licensing and stuff like that. But man, I I'd, I'd love to see a game like that, like just a way bigger, like I don't know, collaboration. Well, I I, I know like the reason why Persona Five uh, Persona Five was introduced in Smash was because Sakurai, the guy who created it, was a big fan of Persona Five, so. Hmm. He was like, yeah. "Yeah, let's put this." So if he if he's a big fan of Goku, you know, we could see him in <laughs> Smash. Yeah, he, wasn't Goku in the Smash before? Like, um, I don't he was know. in a he was in a like a free version of Smash on like Flash games. Oh yeah, yeah that was. And Smash. also, I, like I think it was Ichigo, uh, Naruto, even Luffy. It was like yeah. this fan one. I forgot. Yeah, I, I used to play it all the time. It was called Super Smash Flash. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. But yeah, no, I'd, I'd like to see a, just a, a, just a crossover. Not not even with just anime, but like I said, with like other games and like 
just franchises, movies, TV. Like, I don't know. I think that'd be nice to see. But Yeah, but, you know, it's like the rights thing. It's It's not really like, can we do it? It's more of like, legally, can we do it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But... I don't know. I, I I feel like even games like the <laughs> Super Smash Flash, like that's even if it's the closest we'll get to it, I, I'm fine with that, I guess. But yeah, yeah no, I I, I want to see that though one day, if if it's even possible. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But uh, speaking of crossovers, I will say like, um, I I'm, I want another anime crossover game. It's been a while since Jump Force. That that kind of sucked, <laughs> but um. <laughs> I feel like, because they said every four years they have a crossover game or something to celebrate, but uh, uh, Jump Force came out in 2018, so it's been over four years. Or, yeah, no, it's been well, over You know, years. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I feel like even then, like COVID, like the, the effects of it on kind of like the develop, development of games and stuff has been over for a while. So I feel like at very least we should have had like an announcement or something, but... I, I, they have been working on other games like uh, Budokai Tenkai G4 or Sparking Zero, I guess it's called. But uh, so I guess that's the reason. But I, I do want to see another crossover, and hopefully it's actually good this time. But, uh, yeah. um, they've been making wow, they've been making crossover games since the the NES. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. You know, I, I have no idea when the first Smash was. Goku I, was in that one. Like little Goku. Oh wow! Hold on, I need to see the first Smash game. <laughs> I wonder what that was. That was in '99, '96. It was on the N64. N64. Hmm. Okay. Then it was GameCube, then Wii, then Wii U, and 3DS, and then uh, what was? Then Switch. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking right now. <laughs> This didn't really have that crazy of a roster. I, actually, I think I played this. Uh, first Smash Bros. Um, I did it was a long one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. There's been a lot of Smash games, but I think I've played the first one. I played all, all except the 3DS one. Hmm. Oh, there was... Was it was that Melee? Or... No, that, that so um, when the Wii U came out... They decided to put two different smashes, so there's one for the Wii U and one for the uh, 3DS. Oh, okay. With it, it allowed eight players to play on a map. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's actually that's actually a pretty big improvement. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, I do have like a question. Have you have you played um? Uh, there was a Zelda game. Oh, Twilight Princess. Have you played that? Uh, yeah, I played it a bit. Okay, because I was thinking about um, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it on stream, but playing that in some particular way, not not illegal, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I've been planning on playing it, but I just I, I didn't know if it was like good or anything. Yeah, uh, the depends on what version you get. If you get the GameCube version, which is considered the easy mode, then you probably will have a. I don't know the Wii version. It, how they make it difficult is they flip everything so mm. like whatever's on the left is on the right they even made link right-handed wait what well wow. yeah they fl they flipped everything so apparently the wii version is the hard version i think they just had the wii u ver yeah there's a lot of ports for the the uh, twilight princess mm. so okay. yeah wow. you got your options <laughs> yeah i'll look into that because i don't know i just want to play like a lot of the old games that I haven't like had a chance to play because there are a lot of games that I want to play, but since they're old, they're not like on like ported on any of the new consoles. Like one of the games, not it's not even just Nintendo games, but like um, uh, Osiris Wrath. I never played that, mm. um, but I heard that was like really good and stuff. So I want to eventually like play it. I um got like the uh, PlayStation Now thing or whatever it's called where. You can like stream the games but like since i have a ps4 the connection was really bad and it, it just mm, wasn't yeah. really working out but it know, probably just... wasn't your playstation it probably was your computer like if you if you don't have a good computer it can't run straight mm. really well yeah that, that probably was yeah that's probably it honestly either that or like 
the Wi-Fi, but I don't know. I feel like it's the PlayStation because uh, the PlayStation 4 can't connect to um, like 5G. I feel like mm-hmm. that's the main thing that's holding it, holding my PlayStation back anyways. As far as like online games go and stuff like that, is that it's like, um, I guess, low, uh, I don't know, like it's 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 like low connection. So basically there'll be like a lot of lag depending on the game I'm playing. Yeah. 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 Mine is still not back, man. He must be doing something. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like I was, I was like, when does this man come back? All right. Well, uh, let's t- since he's not here and stuff, uh, let's continue the bleach beef. Uh, <laughs> me and you, you <laughs> like it, and I try to put it down. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I guess the one thing I don't like is Quincy's were not a bigger part of the story. I mean, like they get their own arc, but they should have been. Uh, a bigger because they were a big faction they weren't like the orang yeah. that just got revealed and that arc or the full full bringers who were not even that much of a threat to the world they were actual like history which is kind of why i kind of put a disappointment on mm-hmm. the thousand year blood war because even if they did do, like you know the foreshadowing of u-haul that's that's pretty cool but you know have some backstory with the quincy's because then it would have made their reveal a lot more because Mm. To be honest, when it came to Quincy's, I forgot about him. Even though we got our Quincy, it, he, him being a Quincy was just like, you know, lion being in South Africa. It was cool <laughs> for the moment. But then after a while, it's like, I know this guy, not because he's a Quincy, but, you know, because he has his own life and stuff. So the Quincy thing was a background thing. I didn't really care for it. Uh-huh. So what? So whenever a Quincy showed up, it, was, it wasn't like, oh, my goodness, they're back. It was like, oh. There's actually more of them. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like he made his whole. I, I feel the opposite actually. I feel like he made his whole personality just being a Quincy because like that was his one of the main things that I feel anyways. Uh, just like the fact that he he was always like proud of the fact that he was a Quincy and he was always like going head like like butting heads with Ichigo and stuff like that because he's a Soul Reaper and he he was like really proud so. Like when he, whenever he would help Ichigo, he'd be like, "Oh yeah, I'm doing this because I want to, you know." But we're still enemies or whatever. I don't know. I feel like he always made that a big part of him. So, like we were always just like, or rather, the show just always referenced Quincy's. Like every once in a while, um, yeah, they didn't give us like a, like we knew they died or whatever or yeah. stuff like that. But it was like I don't know. I feel like um, even like there's only so much they could tell us without making it like obvious that they were going to come back at some point because um i feel like the main thing that they wanted to do was basically let us know that yeah this is what happened to the quincy's and then we still have one and he's on our team but we'll we'll keep reminding you that he's a quincy just you know because he's proud to be one and stuff like that kind of like how vegeta is always like yeah i'm the prince of all saiyans and stuff like that like i feel like that was basically him like with his quincy lineage and they basically like kept reminding of us that uh, us of that and until like they actually came back and it's like oh wow like they're they're like they're still here you know and it's like like yeah we we knew that it like they would probably come back at some point but i feel like the chances were just slim because the whole thing about him was that he was the last one pretty much yeah um that's that's kind of why like also going back to like the bleach co- comparison like when when broly came back or when broly was first revealed whether you're talking about like the original like 19 whatever version or or like the recent one it's just like oh yeah you know there's a there's another saiyan out there like a surviving saiyan it's like because it's it's shocking because like you know all of them are dead and you know we know all the ones that are alive mm-hmm. which it's kind of the same situation with um it's kind of the same situation with uh like uryu and his dad like being the only quincy's left That'd be the equivalent of like for Naruto, for example, like if we were to find out that they were still Uchiha's, like that would actually like be crazy, like outside of uh, Sasuke and his daughter, obviously, like that would be pretty crazy. I, I don't know. That's that's why it, it's I, I like it personally, but that's just me. Well, and another thing like I, I got to bring up. Uh, so another series that you like and I bash on is uh, Fairy Tale. Yeah. I, I got to say the one thing I did like about Fairy Tale is even though like the final bosses were not major focuses every time something showed up it was always referenced to them like anytime dragons were mentioned 
Agnologia was a part of it, no matter what. His 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 lore goes very deep with the dragons and any demons. They would it would come. They would be like, oh, it came from the book of Zeref. That was his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah Zeref. Yeah, the book of Zeref. Yeah, or yeah. either that or the book of Eind or something like. That. I don't remember, yeah. but yeah, yeah. So so when it came to those two, it was like it 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 it, it was. There was always some, it showed like they were so powerful that people like with Zeref, he is like the devil. And mm. with Agnologia, he is like, the he was the last dragon and they all disappeared. Which honestly, you know, that kind of is comparison to the Quincy's. And mm. he's the last dragon. Where did <laughs> they go? So <laughs> yeah. it makes sense that, that it would, he would. That, yeah, if they, if if they did some like if the Quincy's were something like the dragons from Fairy Tale or like mm. one of them like something shows up a bit like it doesn't have to be like a major thing but you know just a little bit of Quincy stuff throughout the lore throughout the show then mm. I think I would have probably made it a bit better because t- the thing about I understand how like the pr- pace of Bleach goes is like every arc has like their own faction so like when they did the soul society that was where you got to learn about the shinigami so when you did yeah. the aronkar that was the aronkar the full bringers the full bringers and the quincy's it was the quincy's but the thing about it is if it's something major and especially if it's like a big faction like the quincy's they should have had more depth into it Mm. and in a sense not like have it as like this last arc thing because then it's like especially because yeah he had to rush it out and stuff but still in in like the 200 chapters that he gets i don't remember besides like you haul stuff and even ishigo stuff i don't remember much of like quincy back besides that um what's it called the prophecy the u-haul prophecy where it's like 900 years oh yeah, nine yeah. months and stuff mm-hmm. but we but we but we really like i want more i wanted more quincy stuff and another thing i also have to say is like there was this filler arc i remember and the one thing i did like was that like it put in the fact that uh man what's his name again the quincy guy <laughs> uh u no 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 um our the good quincy <laughs> Uh oh uh well you can call him Ishida or Uryu or whichever one <laughs> or, or Uryu or you I'll just call him yeah. Uryu. The one thing that I liked about the filler was it kind of put it in a perspective that he was alone in the world. Like Quincy's are gone, he's by himself. Like yeah, yeah. he had dad, and that was like oh wow, that's actually pretty like understandable. You know, last of your kind. Yeah. But then when I learned it was filler, I was like oh so that part didn't exist at all. He wasn't actually sad that he was alone wait so, what what part was filler or uh the whole arc it was a i think it was the bound arc the first filler arc after soul society oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like that was actually pretty i i like that because it was like oh that's pretty cool that's like you know shows some weakness he's alone in the world and a world yeah. full of shinigami and the people who killed your pe- your people you're alone and stuff but because it didn't happen it's like oh then that just kind of hurt i don't want this where's the i want the loneliness i want him to show his loneliness i he probably (laughs) they probably did show it in the anime but i didn't watch the anime so yeah yeah i'm I'm not completely sure because with the bounce arc that's like the one arc out of all of them that i don't remember so (laughs) but with um like i don't know with the they they might have shown it in the anime a little bit or in the manga like delve into it a little bit but I, I don't know I feel like it it was always just something that should have been implied like uh like if you're like the last of your people to ever you know it it can it should like I feel like it should be like um it's pretty obvious that it, you know he would be lonely and stuff like that like especially when he's surrounded by the people that like killed his people but the thing the thing about the Quincy conflict though uh. I feel like if they didn't really ever show him having emotion for it and stuff like that, it's because it happened before his time. So, mm-hmm. like, during, like, the whole, like... But wasn't the big thing that he was the survivor of the massacre? Nah, it, it was... His family was. Like, his, his grandpa was one of the few people that was, like, living. Like, they're... Mm-hmm. they're like, basically, like, with the Quincy, in terms of, like, the, the ones that are left on Earth, like, there are, like... I guess you can say, like, um... 
like surviving Quincy's that are like refu like that take refuge on Earth and stuff like that. Mm. But it wasn't. It's not like Sasuke where he actually lived through it, because um, it was um like this happened like way before his time. Like it, when you look at the recent uh, season and stuff like that, and even before this, we know that like this was before his time. But th- I, it, it puts it more into perspective when you see that this was like um the Yamamoto that fought Yuha back in the day was like a way younger looking he had black hair and stuff like that yeah and obviously he's already like a thousand years old so that must have been like when he was way younger so this was like way way before his time and i think it was mostly that his grandpa was a part of the conflict or something like that or something like that and he he was just like a a descendant of of one of the quincy so he knew about the massacre that occurred a while ago but it never really affected him because like it wasn't that like he just it wasn't like a sasuke thing where he knew his family and like had just this big big clan of people like with um the quincy's on earth it was more of like a you know like we're small and we're like like kind of secluded so for for like ichigo's mom for example like they they have like quincy families like um like uh like uryu's dad he was supposed to marry uh ichigo's mom and that's basically because, like, to keep the Quincy lineage going or whatever. Yeah. Like, they can't just marry uh, any random or any random human or anything like that. Uh, they have to, like, marry somebody else that, like, is a Quincy or has Quincy powers and stuff like that. But um, as far as, like, like the present time Quincy's, they never really experienced the, the conflict or the, the last war between Quincy and Shinigami. So mm. that's how that is. But, I mean... He takes pride in it just because like you know his uh grandfather taught him all that stuff and like um i don't know he uses that to protect other people and stuff like that and just their methods of uh taking out hollows are different like uh, a big thing on why they didn't really see eye to eye is because um like the quincy's i'm pretty sure you know this but the quincy's they completely erase the soul yeah they they destroy the hollows they don't um yeah don't give him a second chance or whatnot yeah and that's pretty much that's pretty much what the whole conflict is about so but with with uh what do you like it's mostly a thing of like he was never like a part of like the the war or anything like that so he, him doing it like it's kind of um like it doesn't really affect anything on a grand scale because he's just the only one doing it pretty much so mm. it's like i don't know he he was never really like he knows about all that stuff that happened, but he was never really a part of part of it, and never really like uh, contributed to the conflict between the Soul Reapers and the Quincy. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, another thing I also don't like, and this is not just because is is that the Quincy's attacked the Soul Society twice, mm. and what I mostly mean is like. The first time they attack, it was a big surprise. But then the second time, it wasn't as impactful because it's like, it because it wasn't like that big. Like if they attacked it the first time, there was no problem that they were going to do it the second time. My my thing is like, and also like Ichigo got mad when people died or like, I guess yeah, the people did die in the Soul so- Soul Society when the Quincy's attack. Because my thing was like, who did he actually n- know besides Rukia? Her brother and like uh mm. man what's his name uh, <laughs> the red uh, dude i mean he knew he bro i, I feel like he he knows like uh like, i know he, well, yeah but it's but it's not like friends you know it's like co-workers <laughs> like uh, like yeah i know the guy but i wouldn't feel bad about it like i my thing is uh, they should attack like like if they should have attacked earth like mm. that's my thing they should have attacked earth because it would still work as a distraction, you know. They have to stop something that attacks Earth. Yeah. And then, and then you Hawk could still sneak his way because you know he's the most powerful being in the world. He can't. He can do it. He can, <laughs> and stuff. And it would probably be more impactful because like that's where his family is. That's where his friends are. So him being angry, it would be like okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh... Nah. And then yeah. eventually, when they attack the Soul Society, then it's like holy crap. They just attack the soul society yeah <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know i i feel like for i feel like there's not really any point in them attacking just the world of living just because like the, the conflict that they had was against the soul reapers so 
they would have to think, or Kubo would have to think of an entirely different reason for them to attack the uh, the world of the living. But um, also, I feel like uh, just just to add like a couple more people he knows. He knows like uh, Rukia, Byakuya, and Renji. Uh, but he also he knows a couple people that a couple more people that he views as friends like uh, Kimpachi, I would say, kind of, and then uh, his uh, subordinate was well, his name um, Ikaku uh, as well, and then Shinji, and then basically all the visors. Uh, and I, he knows a couple people, but I still see your point. But at the same time, it, it's kind of a thing like with Luffy, like how basically things will have bad things will happen and if he knows good people like or if he considers people from that island to be his friends he'll help them out it's like he 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 knows uh obviously these guys and i feel like when the quincy's come and they attack the soul society it's like he's not only messing with his friends but as well like some of the like it's not even just like um the soul reapers that were attacked like Apparently, like the Soul Reapers and everything, they have families and stuff that live within the the Serite and stuff like that. So, it's like a bunch of innocent lives kind of got uh, like harmed and taken from that. So, I feel like Ichigo getting mad at that was reasonable, because like it's not just his friends that are getting hurt; it's other innocent people and stuff like that. And the Soul so- Soul Society as a whole is like he he kind of sides by it. Like he he it, it, he does like work with them, but it's less like you know like a business it's kind of like a 50 50 kind of thing because like yeah he does like work with them and stuff like that but he also like genuinely has friends there and people he cares about like in addition to the people he knows on like in the world of the living so i feel like it's i don't know, kind of justified personally well i think it would have been more impactful if it was or because to be honest when it comes to bleach ichigo spent more time on earth than with the soul society like in total two years really yeah but they they kind of changed his life though like if you think about it like rukia gave him his powers so that's the whole reason he's able to fight to begin with and then when he lost his powers they all like came together to give him give them back to him by like giving them his um giving him their uh, spirit energy whatever and then like as well he's just like spent a lot of time there in the past so i don't know i, I feel like it's kind of reasonable like because because yeah he he has spent more time in the world of the living but it's it's kind of like saying like oh yeah if um <laughs> like if your hometown got attacked like yeah that would be more impactful i guess you could say that just because you have like a lot more innocent people a lot more powerless people to defend against it but like say you traveled somewhere and you made friends somewhere you know i, I feel like you know, it's still impactful if that place got attacked because, like, yeah, while well, you don't live there, you still have friends there, and like, you still made memories there and stuff like that. So, it, it's kind of that's that's kind of how it is to me, anyways. Mm, yeah, I, it's just the th- it's, well, for one thing, it's mostly because when the Quincy's attacked, the when they attacked the first time, it was like, oh wow, they are very powerful and stuff. Mm. But then when they attacked the second time, it's like okay well this was less impactful because you already attacked them so Um, (laughs) am i supposed to be surprised it's like yeah am i really not nah i I don't think it was meant to be like more impactful this like i mean yeah in in the sense that there's a lot more going on but the first time around was only really meant to be a declaration of war pretty much i mean they could have done that again they could have done that with i mean in a war you know care Taking territory is a thing, so that could have been a reason. Taking Man. territory. More recruitment, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like that would be like saying, um, that would be like saying, like, uh, when, when CP9, uh, attacked, like, the Straw Hats for the first time or whatever to take Robin. I feel like that's like saying, oh, yeah, they should have just, like, finished them off there or something like that. Or, like, there wasn't Honestly, reason they could have. They, they should have. <laughs> they should have. <laughs> they should have. That was a big flaw. You don't yeah. give the Straw Hats time to recover. You finish them off right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, don't, I feel like that's just an anime thing, though, where, you know, they, they'll come and they're like, okay, let's establish ourselves as a threat. And then, and then like, we'll come back again <laughs> instead of just finishing it off there. That I feel like that's just an anime thing where that happens all the time. But I mean, they kind of already... I, I know they it wouldn't count, but by destroying like the Orankar and 
almost all the hollows, wouldn't that still be like a declaration of war? They, they broke the balance. They kind of messed up their lives. And that was like the first. Yeah. But that was the I, reason why they, uh, the, the Shinigami went to war with them in the beginning. Or yeah. Massacred them. Yeah. I feel that. I, I don't know. I think it, probably the reason they did that is probably just cause like, I don't know. They, I feel like they were going to like go to war, but like they, um, the Shinigami probably weren't expecting them to attack them right after. They were probably moder- monitoring everything. Either that, or they just didn't know what was going on in in Waco Mundo. I'm not completely sure, because like the way that it's the whole situation is presented is that uh, Nell goes to Ichigo and she says all this stuff is happening in the. Um... Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so, basically, the whole thing is that th- this th- it happened at the same time. <laughs> so, mm. Nell went to Ichigo, and she told him that all that stuff was happening in Waco Mundo. And then he went with Orihime, Chad, Uryu, and I think... Well, no, he didn't go with Uryu, but he also went with uh, uh, Urahara. And they all went to uh, Waco Mundo. And then they fought that guy, um, but that put or trapped Ichigo or whatever. And then while that all was happening, um, there was also like they contacted Urahara and they let him know, yeah, all that stuff was happening in uh, in uh, the Soul Society. So by the time Ichigo got free from the prison or whatever and got to the Soul Society, everything was already messed up. So that's probably why, like, they they didn't really know what was going on in Waco Mundo. It's just because like they they already like attack them and we're we're dealing with that at the time so yeah i'm, I'm just i'm just trying i'm trying to understand it a bit but it, it seems like i'm trying i'm putting realistic like a realistic look on the like how war usually works and stuff and yeah, yeah that seems like like and my mostly most most of the time my thing when it comes to war arcs is there has to be something where the conflict start. Like wars don't just happen out of nowhere. There has to be history behind it. And even though the Quincy and the Shinigami do have history, I didn't see it beforehand. I only saw it during the arc and mm. stuff, which is kind of why I didn't like the fourth grade Shinobi War. Not just because of the the uh, man. I keep forgetting everyone's name. Uh, the the group the the Akatsuki. The Akatsuki just came back. It was also the fact that it didn't really seem like it seemed like Obito just came in. Hey, we're gonna start a war, and then that's it. Like, mm. even though the, technically they kind of were in a war because they were all fighting the Akatsuki, but yeah. you know it didn't officially start until Obito came in and was like, "Yeah, let's start this war right now." Hmm. Like, uh, with Mar- like with like with Marine Ford. It, you know, we got Ace, and there was a bit of build up there, oh, and not really build up, but you know, they had us, they had a start, and eventually, you just saw it slowly unfold and stuff. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, wouldn't the equivalent to that for like Naruto and Bleach? I cannot I obviously think of Bleach. Bleach is equivalent to that instantly. Uh, so I'll <laughs> take a little time for Naruto's, but like, I feel like, um, okay, yeah, no, I got it. Okay, so for Naruto, I feel like. Because obviously for Marine Ford, the whole thing that spark- sparked the whole thing was Ace. For the nin- uh, for the Ninja War, I feel like what sparked that was Sasuke with the whole uh, five Kage Summit. And then with Bleach, I feel like it was just the whole like um like the first part of the arc in general, like with the uh, like them you know like raiding Waco Mundo and Soul Society at the same time. I feel like both of those are like big things that led into the actual war because like when they when they started the raid on the soul society that wasn't like the actual official war it was more of like an ambush and when sasuke like did the whole thing on um like he uh infiltrated the five kage summit and like started all those fights with all the hokage and or all the kage and stuff i feel like that both of those were like i don't know they they weren't the official part of the war but it was more like big things that led up to it because you have this guy for naruto's case it's like you have this guy where it's like he attacks all the kage he's somewhat aligned with the akatsuki he kills one of the kage well he wasn't a kage yet officially but he kills danzo and then i feel like all this is just like after all this happens obito is just like oh yeah well this is like um you know (laughs) 
we're officially getting into like some crazy stuff happening or I, I guess just the basically the starting point of the whole war happening and why everybody like started mobilizing i guess you could say mm. but on top of that i feel like uh with the bleach thing it's just like yeah we're we're gonna come in you know they they killed a couple people so that was also impactful and then they just leave and they're like we're gonna come back and then that'll be like the official start of the war i guess so i don't know i feel like those would be the equivalent of like ace like just this big moment that leads up to the war but even even though they did happen in kind of the same arc i don't know i feel like those would be the equivalent of what you're talking about well also another thing when it came to ace is the fact that we even could it wasn't just like oh ace was kidnapped it was like it was like there was other stuff that led to it so for example like ace's blackbeard killed someone of killed a member of the whitebeard crew which is a no-go so ace had to do it or ace went out because he was a commander of that so which Mm. eventually led to his like you know so it wasn't like it was like a lot like a rock rolling down Mm. you know it started small but then it got really really big later on into it so you know i saw that and i realized okay that's a pretty cool thing well, with these ones, like, even, like, yeah, the Waco Mundo thing was a big, like, was a, something beginning and stuff, but it was a big thing that just kind of happened out of nowhere. It wasn't like, okay, well, you know, something small happens, and then trigger. it, it was like, Yuha comes back, destroys <laughs> the hollows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, I feel like it depends on how you view it, because, it, like, with, um, with Ace, I feel like it's more, like, since it's like one piece is more of just like a thing that builds up over time i feel like it's just um like it's it's not really about what took place like 20 or 50 years ago and stuff like that with the five Kage, uh, five kage summit and with uh the the thousand year blood war that stuff does exist it's just like way like long ago because i feel like in the case of like ace obviously it was kind of like a snowball effect kind of where it starts small with uh, Blackbeard killing the guy to get the fruit and then Ace going after him and then all that leading up to uh, the the war where basically they have to come back <laughs> if I hear back line. <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, um, I feel like, yeah, they show all that, like, but I, I feel like that's just because One Piece is a series where they build it up, like, for you to see. I feel like in in inter- it's like i feel like it, and it, i don't know i feel like it's kind of weird because i feel like the other two are kind of more accurate to how a war would happen where there's like conflict going on for like years and years and years even prior to like us knowing about it so with the case of like ichigo like obviously there's the whole thing of like the the whole thing that started this was them not agreeing on you know how uh hollows were being dealt with on both sides and obviously, like, uh, even before that, Yuha just didn't really see the Shinigami as, like, I don't know, good people. Just because he knew about their past and their history with how they got the Soul King and stuff like that. Mm. And with in, in Naruto's case, it was, um, like, uh, Obito, uh, I think it was losing Rin, pretty much. Because yeah. it was, he, he basically, after he died, quote-unquote, when, when he was a kid, and he was presumed dead... Is basically he witnessed like a lot of things that kind of changed his mind um and he he was also manipulated by madara which kind of caused a snowball effect but it's the fact that it takes place like over years and years with with one piece this this all takes place within like like the whole series takes place within like two years so yeah so it's like all there for you to see whereas like with like naruto like this all happened before naruto was even born and same with ichigo like all this all the conflict that snowballed like happened over years so i feel like those are more realistic if you want to compare because like they're like even now like the the conflicts that we have in the real world are results of like things that happened in the past and just like tensions that have always been there but haven't really been acted upon so when it actually is acted upon like it comes like full force just out of nowhere you know what i'm saying like I'm not gonna bring up any real world examples, but there's something going on right now. Obviously, that's kind of like yeah. that. That just came out of nowhere. 
that nobody well, could that, see. I actually there. Um, wait, or which one? There's actually two. <laughs> which oh, one are well, you talking about? <laughs> the the one uh, the one with Palestine or that one? Yeah. Oh uh, no, that was World War One. There's a, so with the Middle East, any conflict that happened, that's World War One, because they were split up crazy. So every territory now wants what they used to have, but the other territory is not willing to give it up. <clears throat> yeah, but I would compare. It, I would compare it to that kind because there is that kind of is like the situation where, like obviously the, the that whole thing has been happening for a while now. We just like it's been a thing you know obviously world war one happened before any of us were born yeah but i feel like it's like that's more realistic in how bleach and naruto handle it as opposed to like it, it's not that one piece isn't realistic it's just that it's more like since it's since it's like all takes place within the course of like a couple of years it's like we have to find a way to like you know have this big war that has built up i feel like one piece is going to have another war that's obvious because like yeah there's too much happening. There's like uh, the whole thing with uh, uh, whatever it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it uh, with the celestial dragons, and then just so many sides to everything that's happening right now. That there's going to be another war. I feel like that will be the equivalent to like um, Thousand Year Blood War or uh, the Fourth Great Ninja War. But as far as like Marine Ford goes, I feel like that's a like a smaller version of of that like a big conflict that happens because we have like kind of things that are going on already that we know about that just aren't being acted on pretty much i i can see that. i mean there is tension because you know it was pirates and uh, navy so yeah so i guess it is equivalent to the quincy i guess yeah it is a smaller version because it is only one group of pirates versus the whole navy so mm. and there's more so i do see that but it's just to, it. I guess for me, mostly, why I don't put Thousand Year Blood War arc up higher is well. For one thing, I don't. For one thing, all the the points you put, but also like you know, there should have been more Quincy. Like honestly, I want Quincy lore. They're humans, and we learn something about Ichigo. But you know, at yeah. this point, what the heck do we not know about this man? Uh. <laughs> So eventually it kind of puts to a point like, why shouldn't we get more Quincy stuff? Especially since it would have led up to this, which would eventually been like, even though many people probably did think, oh crap, this is amazing and stuff. I'm still on the lines of like, we should have done what they, or they should have, hey, was fairy tale first? I don't know. <laughs> the years are... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fairy Tale was two thousand nine. So I okay, think yeah, they were they were like, you know, they, yeah. they, they you know, Bleach should have done what Fairy Tale did, and not, maybe not do major Agnolovia shows up, but you know, every time Dragon mentioned, you know, Agnolovia should be involved. Every time they put Quincy or uh, Shinigami Lord, maybe some Quincy stuff because they go hand in hand together uh, a bit. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that kind of takes away the the shock value. Like, I feel like they can do that and not really. I don't know. Like, you you, you can have it both ways. Like, they. I feel like Bleach not doing what Fairy Tail did, like, is it still works because at the end of the day, it was a big shock value that. Yeah, they don't really talk much about them, and then they just you know they're still here and. Then they raid. They raid the Soul Society. They raid Waco Mundo. No, I'm not then, like. I'm just like, talking about like lore. Like, what was it like to be a Quincy? Not like saying like like you know the prophecy leaving out. That's fine because that's like yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah. But you know, talk about like what like maybe I, I don't know. Maybe like just some like wor like what life was like when Quincy's were around. Because mm. if if that was like like the main thing on earth you know explain why there wasn't any in america because <laughs> let, let's put it this way bleach has a pretty unique thing but after reading harry potter <laughs> it's a downgrade because harry potter has like america and like you, like you have this but with it, like and of course you know kubo did something with london but you know yeah it, it what you know in the real world america would be <laughs> like 
<laughs> Quincy's would be like Americans mostly, hmm. it will, or be, be based in America. like again with them. Well, I have, which is kind of why I have an issue with my hero, like Japan being the main thing. Is like, nah, if America had its way, it would be America. It yeah, would be, it would take a place in America. But you know, I, well, yeah, you can go. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was just gonna say, it depends on how you feel, like, I don't know, because if you're talking about, like, a superhero thing, then yeah, like, superheroes would probably be mostly based in America, because just, like... Yeah, well, yeah, I must have mean that. Okay, maybe not the Quincy thing. Quincy, yeah. I was just excited, but, you know, the world's a big place. You know, Japan, even if they, like, especially, you know, humans travel around the world, even to America, so, you know, there had to be somewhere where, like, even, like... Even if they left one family, that one family could move to America. They could have moved to Europe. You know, there was a lot of stuff. World War Two. You know, America <laughs> did take some Japanese people. You know, there could yeah. be a family in America yeah. going on. There's a lot of potential and stuff like that. You know, so when it comes to that kind of world building, it it was it's good, but it could have been better, hmm. especially like. Because yeah, we got the other realms, but you know, the Earth is a, the Earth. A lot there's a lot of history there. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like the whole thing about Bleach is that yeah, there's a lot of history for it, and like obviously we confirm that there's different branches of the Soul Society because like the Burn the Witch was like a like another. I think it was. I don't remember what uh, what direction it was, but it was another branch of the Soul Society. But mm. I feel like the main thing about Bleach is that like it's mostly like it's told through the through the perspective of Ichigo and like his people so it's uh, mostly just going to be focused around them kind of like how uh, Mushoku Tensei is mostly just told through Rudius's perspective like we obviously don't like Rudius but at the end of the day that's just you know it's told through his perspective I feel like with Bleach um like it's it's being told through Ichigo's perspective is like the, the main reason why we're only ever in like Harakura town and like focusing on like that place and stuff like that but there is like a greater obviously lore and stuff like that because for the soul king for example to have just created everything it's like obviously like he created america like he didn't just not create america or something like that's one of the many places i'm sure that he created or whatever but it's like it, it's mostly just focused on you know ichigo because like America didn't take place, or America, nothing in like, or nobody in America, or nobody in London, or any other part of the world, was like a part of like the main conflict in Bleach, which was, which was like the Thousand Year Blood War. So I don't know. Until there's like a like a threat to the planet itself, I don't feel like Bleach will really branch out from Karakura Town and stuff like that. But well, I, don't know. I mean, like Harry Potter is only about Harry Potter. Like there's a and yeah, it was still able to do that. So, you know, <laughs> being the perspective of one person doesn't mean you're only limited to just like, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of fighting and stuff, but you know, and also world in Bleach, there's some world building to it. And it would get, be nice to know that Japan's not the only, <laughs> well, we do know London, but you know, it would be cool to be like, hey, the Quincy's actually did start in Russia, and you know the Nazis. <laughs> the Nazis; those were Quincy's. Oh, wow. something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm actually. I I, I can kind of see what you mean, but at I the mean same they're time. from Germany. Like let's put it that way. German would, and they like existed a long time ago. Maybe like I know it sounds cool, but you know it would be cool to be like, why is it German? You know, mm. Germany is an actual language in the Bleach world. It's not like yeah. it's not like a random world, and it's like, oh, where did this name come from? It's like they came from. You know, the names are German. Reich is empire for German. Yeah, I mean, may, maybe maybe it's just that, like, I don't know, the main people that Yuha decided to give his power to was like the Nazis. Know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess, like Germans. I was gonna say Germans, but like that that fits too, I guess, but. Yeah, no, I guess maybe that was just the thing, but I feel like aside from that, like, there's really nothing going on in Russia <laughs> in Bleach. I mean, unless there's like another branch of the Soul Society there, but I mean, I, I can see what you're saying, but I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Yeah. Well, we've been talking about Bleach for, uh, I don't know how long, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably a while. You were like, gone for a while. Yeah, you were gone for a while. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gone, yeah. Yeah, that's actually crazy. You, you you said you had to go do something. You were gone for like 20, 20 to 30 minutes yeah. or something. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. But, hey, they, yeah. We're, well, we stay on topic for 30 minutes. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> literally. Well, it, it's easy when it's a topic that you're passionate about. I, I, I'm pretty passionate about Bleach, and, and you feel like it's not as good as some other things. But I mean, it could have been better. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Like, Lion, you, you think I'll see in terms of like all the war arcs, mm. uh, Thousand Year Blood War, Marine Ford, and uh, what was it, Fourth Grand Ninja War? You obviously think don't Thousand even, Year Blood War is the best, right? Give me that mid war, <laughs> but yeah, yeah it was up top. Yeah, the Fourth Grand Ninja War was all right, yeah, it, was, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I'm not gonna lie, it did have some sour moments, but. It's not it, it had some. It's, it's more enough. It. it you know, <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it had some some cool moments. I don't know. Like the whole thing when you found out about Obito and when Rin died and stuff you like that. Always. That was that. That was really. Good. No, I'm just, not. Okay, let, let's like, put it this way. This might be a controversial take. Out of all the characters in Naruto, I think Naruto was the least <laughs> um, interesting. Hmm. Every everyone I like. Oh, I mean, there's other people that are not, but I mean, like the people who actually got like major backstories. <laughs> Naruto's didn't seem like, yeah, he is the Jinchuriki for, or if, is that whatever? If it's the right thing, you know. yeah, Jinchuriki. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, the Jinchuriki of the Nine <laughs> is of the Nine Tails, but you know, everyone else had like way more interesting backstories. Sasuke lost his family. Rock Lee had no like. <laughs> um chakra at all which was pretty which was pretty interesting even like kakashi and uh what's it called uh mike guy their rivalry was pretty cool Tsunade mm-hmm. and you know there was a lot of people like even mm-hmm. though naruto's backstory is pretty sad it's like compared to all of nar compared to all of naruto it wasn't the most interesting one mm-hmm. yeah i mean i feel no, it is just a hypocrite, self so. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, yes. I feel like it's a. P- no, right. <laughs> how, how, how is he a hypocrite? This man said, like, Oh, I miss my dad. I don't have a dad. And now he is one, he's never dead for his kids. So. <laughs> I mean, he's the Hokage. He's busy. It, it, that uh, probably would have been how well, it was if his dad was well, alive. We spoke about it last time. He could make his clones do that. And then he. Okay, okay. Uh, he, so. so oh. So yeah. I, I know, okay, so here's the thing. I know people like complain that Boruto's like being a brat and stuff, and you know they they gave their Naruto a pass because you know his parents were dead. I, I think okay, so this may be a hot take, but I think if Minato actually lived, Naruto would be Boruto. Like no joke, because I mean, Bor- because the way Boruto is, that was what Naruto. Was. So it wasn't as if like it, the dad thing was the was like the reason and everyone should hate him. Is it's it was like it's a genetic thing, <laughs> you know. You know, like like father like son. So if me so if Minato did li- live, oh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I I guess I can't say this since he's gone. I was about to argue that, <laughs> but I feel like Minato. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, yeah. I feel like Minato would be different, though, because, like, I feel like that was just dumb on Naruto's part. Like, he, he, why would you send the clone to the party instead of you going to the party? Like, it doesn't make... I feel like Minato is smarter than to, than to send the clone to the party. Like, Well, I'm not I mean, saying Minato would do the same actions. I'm just, just saying Minato would probably be as busy, or maybe even more busy, because it is a... During his time, it was a bit... There was still major conflicts going on. And yeah. and Naruto would be like Boruto, and like at the point he wouldn't understand because he's in he you know he's kind of in a time of peace. He would still act like the exact same way as Boruto. It's just the only difference is oh he lost his family, so it makes sense. Which yeah, it does. But in my eyes, I don't see it changing. Even if Minato had the only difference is that. Minato would have been looked like a way better father than 
Naruto did. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that is a big just part of it because with Minato, I feel like you also have to consider that Naruto was never a sensei. So Minato had experience with kids with with Obito, Rin, and Kakashi. And like, he, he kind of like, he was more of like a calm father, I guess you could say. I guess Naruto is calm now, but like, I, I don't know. I feel like Minato just has had experience with that in the past and he's just like i don't know he just his his vibe i feel like makes it more like more um well, i'm not saying like minato would be a bad parent i'm just saying naruto would be the same bratty person he was i mean that, but that that also depends on the parenting though like because i feel like if naruto well, made better decisions as a parent <laughs> then maybe boruto would like be easier to deal with but it's it's like those bad decisions that he makes and i feel like you know Mito would have an idea of what would be a bad decision and what wouldn't because he knows how to deal with kids because he's been a sensei and he's dealt with kids before and stuff like that yeah i i just i just i just think like when people bring like he's a brat it's like i just think you know naruto was him you you can get the backstory of he lost his parents but it's like at that point of time who didn't lose their parents like there was a conflict everywhere it was not a time of peace <laughs> yeah and also i wanted to touch on because we you kind of um but the whole thing about um what was it uh naruto's backstory i feel like that also depends um because you said it, his wasn't interesting like the least interesting i also feel like that depends um like um i feel like that depends on if you include like the, the stuff that happened before he was born, like when he actually got the nine tails sealed into him, because I, it, I feel like if you include that as part of his backstory, uh, then it would be like more interesting. Well, but it's the fact yeah, that yeah, but then we also got you know Gara who had the same backstory or similar, and was ten times worse than Naruto. Yeah, exactly. It's mostly the fact that Naruto didn't have to live through... Well, he lived through his parents dying technically, but he didn't, like, know it was even happening because he was a baby. Like, he wasn't aware of it. But it's, like, it's mostly the fact that he didn't live through all those all those stuff and all the reasons why he ended up how he was. Whereas people like Gara, you know what I'm saying? He lived through his mother dying. He, like, lived through the Tell Beast getting put into him, I'm pretty sure like he experienced all that stuff it was just like I, I don't know i feel like it's like that's mainly the reason but if you do include like all the stuff that happened before his, his like his him being aware of it actually happening then it'd be a better backstory but i don't know <laughs> that's just me i mean he's not yeah. even my favorite in jerky i i i'd say Mara is technically <laughs> hmm. yeah yeah i i, I mean I don't know. I feel like he definitely has like the like most basic backstory out of it. Cause at, at the end of the day, all Naruto really had to go through himself and experience himself was just people being mean to him and discriminating against him because he had the nine toes in him. But aside from that, there wasn't really anything that he went through just aside from discrimination. Like he didn't lose anybody or anything like that until he actually became a ninja and started like experiencing loss and stuff like that so i mean I, I, you know it would have been probably been a lot more interesting is like if the discrimination led to him actually being a villain like gara yeah because honestly the stuff that he did were pretty tame compared to what gara was doing yeah. like gara actually killed people naruto yeah. just did <laughs> he just put graffiti on the wall yeah, but even then, I feel like what, like I feel like him becoming a villain wouldn't really be justified because uh, unless you're talking about like when that one guy tried to kill him. But aside from that, like like I said, people like they killed uh, like Gar's mom was killed and stuff like that. Like people discriminated against not only him but his brothers and sisters and stuff. Like all this, all, like all the discrimination was mostly just happening to Naruto. It was just people being mean to him. So I don't think. It'd have been really justified if he turned into a villain, like, it, unless you like say that he didn't really grow out of like a childish mindset where like, oh yeah, people were mean to me, so I'm gonna like destroy a village or something like that. But I don't know. I, I guess it depends on your your viewpoint of it all. <laughs> well, I, I just I just I just think that Naruto is not 
that interesting compared to other characters that actually I enjoy. I, I like. Like honestly, like I I do agree that I do. I still stand by that my favorite rivalry was my guy and Kakashi. I I still like their interactions and learning about their backstory is pretty cool. Like my guy wanted to be a rival to Kakashi, not only because he wanted to get better, but you know to watch out for Kakashi, make sure he was doing all right. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did like that. Yeah, no, I feel like there are like a lot more interesting backstories, but I, don't know, I kind of agree with you on Naruto. It's just, it's, it's just, mature. it's I don't find, I, <laughs> I don't find, oh my gosh, I don't find it as like, I don't know, it's not a bad backstory. It's just, it's just okay. But I didn't say it was bad. It's just you know less interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. That's that's fair. <laughs> I'm waiting for my kid to come on. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no. I I I'd side with Mikey on some things. It, like Naruto is my least favorite out of the big three, but I still like it. Like it's it's a good show. Like it it. I don't know. It's you probably wouldn't agree that it's good. You'd probably say it's bad, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's just some <laughs> good points in it. It's right. it's I don't know I had some substance to me. Yeah. yeah. How long have we been? One forty. How long have we been? One forty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Let's guess. Uh, are I mean, we done? <laughs> I mean, line was gone for most of it. I, I, it really depends on what he wants to do. I, mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like you haven't talked. Yeah. I mean, I can make <laughs> off like four hours, but because. Uh, because we spent like the first I, I don't know when you left honestly i don't know what the time stamp of when you left is but if the if like 25 percent of it is us talking about twitch and actually like different topics and then like a 75 percent is just us talking about like anime and stuff yeah just ble- the big three really like I, if you guys want to add another topic you know i'm fine with it. yeah hmm. but i i can't really think of anything so yeah, man, that's on you guys we're going to talk about all of our topics in this episode because we need to do one tomorrow. Then I'll just say this JoJo can solo anyone <laughs> in Bleach. <laughs> nah, nah. Bleach, Bleach, is, Bleach is crazy. They, they have a hard time on their hands for sure. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Nah, nah wait. Uh, you, you're saying that to me? <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. Okay, me, let's, put, let's put it this way. Stand users can see ghosts. Yeah. Uh, that, that doesn't so, change anything. So, so they can't hide, and also, and also, either also, JoJo fights aren't about uh, strength. They're mostly about outsmarting your opponent. So it doesn't matter if your character has an overpowered ability. If they can make the character like miss one step, then the JoJo characters will always win. This strategy in Bleach too. Yeah, but it's mostly like, okay, what's the next form? Nah, no. <laughs> right, I, I, what's called debate against somebody against this a while ago. It's like, it, you also have to consider what the forms do, right? And it's like, obviously, like Bankai, it's not just, oh yeah, getting stronger for a lot of people. It's like they have abilities and stuff like that and techniques that you have to find workarounds for. And also, like, if you have, like, you have smarter characters like, uh, Kisuke and stuff like that. And you have Kisuke, Aizen, um, what was his name? Mayuri and stuff like that. Smarter characters who put a lot of thought into their fights and stuff like that. So th- there's a lot of strategy in there. Like, Yeah, this... yeah, but let's put it this way. In all of JoJo's, only two characters actually get new forms in their stands. Everyone else is the same person. Eight has the same stand. Feeds everyone totally differently. They don't get any power-ups. Well, besides Jorno, but... You know, that was because of some overpowered arrow. Mm. Uh, spoilers, but, y- you know, it, it doesn't really matter. It won't help deplete your enjoyment. Yeah. Uh, everyone's just the exact same way from beginning to end. And they still beat the, um, they still beat the villain. So wouldn't that put them at a disadvantage against Bleach characters? Because they're all the same. <laughs> well, no, because the villains power up. The heroes don't. So yeah. some... Some here, the villains, like, uh, for example, no, that's a bad example. Uh, what would be? Dio. Dio yeah. lost two times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. I feel like 
with bleach like the, the the heroes like they don't really power up that often either like they like ichigo if you're talking about him obviously he powers up a lot but when you talk about people like uryu and like chad and orihime or like rukia renji like the majority of the fights that they won majority of the fights in the series had them in the same forms like each uh renji had just shikai and bankai up until <laughs> up until the war arc and then he finally got the training from the um let's call it the royal guard and stuff and same for rukia she had even less she had she just had shikai and mm-hmm. then you had byakuya who had the same old bankai <laughs> kenpachi didn't even have his shikai or his bankai like a lot of them stay the same too and they were beating people left and right too so yeah, it was okay. only the war arc where they all powered up pretty much okay yes but then we got also abilities to negate those attacks like heaven's door which can not only negate it but can also negate other stuff like eyesight and you also got others like white snake that can literally take powers away and add new powers that could do damage to others so we got that also that you whole thing about the abilities that would that sounded menacing until I watched it, and it only takes away Bonkai's. So stand users, I think, are pretty fine. Yeah, with yeah, that that was never really a big thing though for them. Like that, I was just like, Ooh, that. well, that still that would mean Jorno could take on <laughs> U-Haul. because no, because <laughs> I mean, Jorno's Jorno's passive ability is uh, I don't know, but it resets everything. So any attack, any ability that that was activated to attack Jorno mm. is negated at all times like even abilities he can't see or doesn't know that are happening are negated as well so mm. you said so, you said Jorno yeah Jorno the yeah, only no. exception is if it's a natural phenomenon so for example he would lose against Wonder you because he's not using actual attack it's just using calamity and that's part of nature you yeah can't redirect calamity is that just with special techniques or with like everything with so so if i were to go and punch him like you wouldn't you wouldn't you, you're, you're saying that's with everything like not everything just... <laughs> bro you've never said this before <laughs> You've never brought this up, Giorn. You, I'm, I'm trying to 100% because like you've never brought this up at all. Oh, well, because I, I nerfed these characters, but then when I actually saw videos on it, it's like oh, they're way more. Powerful. Like for example, when I told you about Wonder of You, I, I actually like before I actually nerfed him when I said like anyone who goes towards him, or anyone who looks at him, or no, anyone who goes after him, they yeah. get affected by calamity. But actually, it's more of a power than that. So it's not just anyone who goes after him. It's anyone who looks at him or has like a thought about him. And also technically you can't get rid of it because it is calamity itself. So even if you destroy a um, avatar, it that avatar will appear somewhere else. Mm. Yeah, no, nah, Bleach, I, I st- I'm still on Bleach side. There's, there's some overpowered abilities for Bleach, like the freaking, um, what you call it? Like, it, it really depends on like, what you call it? Cause, um, I feel like it's I can't really like there's no way to like scale hacks I feel like like it's just like because if you say oh yeah there's this ability that erases every ability even when you don't know about it or stuff like that it's like w- like what would what, what would he be able to do against like um what's his name Rimuru for example like because obviously we know he's overpowered what are you saying that Rimuru wouldn't be able to do anything to him no not really <laughs> <laughs> like that's it that's exactly what i'm talking about like there has to be some like limitation to it like it doesn't make any sense for it to just like be no well, that's the that's the kind of the point there's no limitation to it in fact oh. that's not even the worst ability like it has that's just a passive defense the worst ability is its attack okay but then then nobody would be able to be him in fiction though not even goku yeah <laughs> oh, okay. Does it make any okay, sense? But, but okay, but the, the, I did say the limit. The limit is like nature. So if if, if there's a person, so let's put it this way: Jorno versus Yuha, I could see Jorno winning. Jorno versus the Soul King, probably not, because the Soul King is like the nat- like the world itself. So he has like control over like calamity, 
fortune you know all that stuff he wouldn't beat it because Jorno can't um reset things that are natural yeah well could could he be goku in your opinion um maybe i mean like if the if the attack is not directed at him <laughs> oh my god so if he destroys the planet maybe i don't know if he can reset the planet because this okay no okay so if goku was in a different place shot a kamehameha destroying the planet goku would win because the planet destroying is a natural thing that happened because of the attack that goku did which was not directly at jorno so he would technically win but if an attack was again huh ichigo would actually win against jorno then exactly (laughs) because all he would have to do is like freaking like shoot a exactly destroy the planet or or he did he doesn't even need to do that do that to be honest he can just shoot a get to go or whatever knock him off a cliff and, and that's it or knock him into a volcano or something like because technically he wouldn't be directing it at him he'd just be like the force from not not even the force from it because that would also count i guess but like i guess like shockwaves from the planet or something could also like i don't know just do some damage to him or whatever like I, technically, if you're speaking that way, like oh, what what's what's stopping that from happening? Like him being at the edge of cliff and Ichigo like cutting the cliff off or something. Well, uh, so it's really hard. Okay, so when it comes to Jozo, it's really hard because most like the overpowered attacks have to deal with fate and stuff. So, for example, another overpowered ability would be um, heaven. No. Uh, man man what is the, i'm trying to remember because because made in heaven made in heaven oh, made in heaven because yeah. it when it reset the world it made it to where its user was no longer a part of fate so technically anything he does would not be like would not be a part of fate itself mm. yeah i i don't know because what it sounds like to me is just a more complex version of one piece where there are overpowered abilities, but as long as you know the workaround to them, you can beat the user. Like, for example, like Luffy wasn't able to beat Crocodile until he knew like, like he had to use water or whatever. Or like Luffy was able to beat. Oh, that, that, that's actually Jojo. how it's, Jojo's is. That's that's Jojo fights mostly. Yeah, is just that, on a more complex level. Yeah, it's a more complex level. But Jojo's came first, so you could say Jojo, Luffy, One Piece came from jojo's but you know <laughs> yeah but if you if you go by that like technically bleach characters could still win because they're on a level power wise and hacks wise where they can find workarounds to these abilities so it's just like you said like that that one passive ability is pretty overpowered where any attack directed at them you know is like can't like can't really hurt them but if you, you know if the workaround is just you know like attacking the planet destroying the planet or like you know destroying the environment around them in a way that puts them at a disadvantage then that's a pretty easy workaround for pretty much anybody in bleach to get the hang of you know because like i feel like anybody can just destroy the environment and you know catch them off guard or something like that but um like even for the more overpowered abilities i feel like okay it says yeah yeah go ahead it says it wields the arcane power to of nullifying the will and actions of any opponent, effortlessly undoing their attacks. A power that triumphs even the time erasing power of Green Crimson. So that's what it says. I don't know. Again, the limits is. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little bit like Bleach and how like it's kind of vague, pretty much. Is what I'm getting, but. Yeah, no. Nah. I uh, my my only goal here was to get Lion on my side <laughs> because I feel you said you said like JoJo's has more hacks than Bleach. I'm not gonna lie, JoJo's has a lot of hacks from what I know, but Bleach hacks are also pretty crazy. I just had to remind you because like I, I don't know if you guys remember uh, Sukushima's ability. Like you remember his ability, Lion? From Sukushima, from what? Yeah, that's the guy with the sword that could change memories or whatever. But it's like from, those memories also apply to reality itself. Shukus- so, for example, from, from Bleach, he's from the Shukus- uh, Fullbringer arc. Shuka. Oh, the one of like yeah. the suit. 
Yeah, the one with the suit. Uh, you know how he, the one that changed Orihime and Chad's memories? Yeah. Yeah, so his ability is overpowered because it not only applies to like memories, but also like just reality as well. Like, so for example, like uh, when Ichigo, uh, spoilers, I guess, uh, when Ichigo uh, had his Bankai broken uh, by Yuha uh, in the last like couple chapters or whatever, like he was actually able to use his ability to like make it so that his Bankai had never been broken. And that's a crazy feat because once Bankai are broken, apparently they can't be brought back or whatever. So him bringing it back is like, a, like actually like a crazy feat. Like I feel like that could also apply to like a lot of JoJo's abilities where he can literally just make it so that they don't exist at all. But like, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of hacks and not just it, it's not Bleach doesn't just only rely on hacks. It also relies on power. So. Well, all, like, all, all I have to say, though, is that we still got the bubble. <laughs> we still got the bubble. <laughs> the bu- yeah, you do have the bubble. I'll, I'll let's give you let's that. put it this way. Out of all of them, the bubble's the only one where, yeah, that doesn't exist. Like, the it doesn't exist. You all can't damage it. The Soul King can't damage it. So they're screwed. <laughs> uh, I mean, it depends on the Soul King's power. We don't know the limitations of his power. Well, so. Okay, so the, the bubble was able to destroy Calamity. So... It hmm. it could destroy nature. Yeah, or but the avatar, if it has a physical form, even if it's like an avatar of someone, it could destroy it. Okay, so te- okay, so technically speaking, we we really don't know. Like I said, the limitation of the Soul King's power, but if we're speaking technically, it there's a fifty fifty chance it might not work on him because he he is the one that created everything. So, but yeah, calamity but if, included. But so, it but if if you know if he is a physical person like there is a physical body the bubble can take him i don't i don't think he is i think he's like more of a conceptual because how it goes in like in terms of like uh i guess like the fit like physical it, it goes physical spiritual and conceptual so like um it physical obviously you'd be able to damage it's like bleach characters for example um a big thing about them is that so say you put like any Soul Reaper against any Logia from One Piece. Uh, the big thing about One Piece Logias is that they can't be damaged through physical attacks. But Shinigami, even like a basic like fodder one, would be able to fight with a Logia because they don't damage the physical, they damage the soul. So they'd still be able to like beat a Logia. So I think what the Soul King is... He can't just be physical, because th- that wouldn't really make sense. And even if he was, he might be able to turn himself into, like, a spiritual or a conceptual, like, being, where that doesn't really matter. But, I don't know. It's it's confusing. <laughs> Honestly, but I feel like I feel like it, mm, there's a 50-50 chance it wouldn't work on him, just because, like, I don't know. He, he's basically God. Like, he can do whatever he wants. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> uh, yeah. I- I guess I guess we'll end it there. <laughs> yeah. Who would win, the bubble or the sulking? The sulking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Put your con- put, put, put your thoughts on the comments below. If you haven't read part eight, I will tell you the bubble is OP. <laughs> yeah. And if you it's don't users know, not, but the old the bubble is. <laughs> honestly, if if we're going by that, it might be that the Soul King is kind of similar. Where even if he is like. Can't, even if himself can be taken out by the bubble, he, he might be able to make something that can take the bubble out. Or so, I, who knows? It's 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 dumb to think about, but yeah. The, no, I the mean, bubble. calamity wasn't able to touch it, and that was like a force of nature. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Who, who, who knows? But it's it's weird. Bro. The bubble is like the weirdest thing I've ever, like the weirdest power I've ever heard of, honestly. But, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. that's JoJo's weird powers then. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. What what do you think, Lion? What ha- what's what's? I mean, he has a red part eight, so yeah. he doesn't know. <laughs> True. I don't have True. To say. Yeah, yeah. True. Well, yeah. I guess. Comment your thoughts. What do you think would win? <laughs> the bubble or the Soul King? <laughs> That's hilarious, man. But I yeah. mean. Is there anything else to uh, talk about? Uh, I something? guess I guess uh, that's probably it. Unless Lion wants to talk about oh. something. Tomorrow. 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 Okay. okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, intensive. Well, see you. <laughs>
All right. Well, thank you guys for watching another episode of the Radio Trigger Podcast. As always, I'm Tensa, and thank you guys, my co-host Tony Lion and the Anime Bro, for being here. Yeah, yeah. So, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, I guess. Uh, as always, links to everything will be in the description. Uh, Twitter, different social medias and stuff. Uh, also, subscribe. Uh, we're trying to get more active on here, so <laughs> that would be really helpful and stuff. Uh, any last words from you guys? Uh, fear the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> fear the Soul King. <laughs> Don't yeah. watch that. In fact, technically, technically, SpongeBob is overpowered because. You seen those bubbles, man? <laughs> we we're not even gonna talk about the dirty bubble over. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he's he's one shots everybody that we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, the only thing going toe to toe with the bubble that doesn't exist. <laughs> Literally. Oh, uh, and also another thing: don't don't get naked on Twitch. That's yeah, don't horrible. yeah, definitely don't do that, man. There's other yeah. websites. <laughs> There's other Literally. websites. Send me the link. Literally, other it. websites. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, send send Lion the the things in DMs. But yeah, we we have our own times and days that we want this stuff in our in our in our lives. So yeah, uh, as always, subscribe, like the video if you liked it and stuff, and peace. Peace. peace.